Hi, this is Mark Smith from Edinburgh University, and I am creating this for my Teaching and Learning with Technology class, SED 183. And today we're going to talk about the what, the how, and the why we are blogging. Now, first question is, what is a blog? Well, it started off as a log on the web, and out of that we get the word blog. And of course, with technology and the evolution of language and uh, now your Googlers and your Googling, same thing with you're a blogger, if you're a noun, if you're actively participating in a blog, you are blogging, and if you talk about your blog in the past tense, you have blogged. Now, throughout the world, there are literally millions of blogs, and we're talking about 42 million estimated blogs throughout the world. So that means you've got people in America, Chile, uh, Russia, China, all of these people are actively involved in web communications, logging their thoughts and feelings on the web. Now, what do they blog about? I will tell you, I've seen blogs. Um, I think the, most, the, the funniest blog I've seen was uh, this guy was an enthusiast for um, riding his unicycle. But he liked the outdoors also, so he combined the two. And his uh, web blog is about mountain biking on a unicycle. Uh, I've seen koala bear, I've seen kitties, I've seen dogs, all of blogs dedicated to them. So, don't be afraid of blogging. In America, there are an estimated 31 million bloggers in the USA. So, I want to add to this number by getting you to create your own blog. Uh, and this is how we're going to do it. Now we have several choices that we could, we could, we could use in terms of our tools. Um, there's WordPress, 43% of that 42 million use WordPress. That's a popular one. In fact, I used to use it uh, when I was a classroom teacher in uh, secondary education. Uh, I would use Edublogs, which is sponsored by WordPress. It's a free, great program for teachers. In fact, I think it gives you up to 20 to 30 student blogs. So when you're in the classroom, I think that's a great choice to have if you don't have a classroom management system. For this class, for SCD183, I like to use Blogger. And what I like about Blogger, it's bought and owned by Google. And 35% of those 42 million people agree with me. They use Blogger. Tumblr is a new one that came in a couple years ago. It's created by TypePad, and we got 16% of all that 42 million people using. And the last ones are use different tools to blog, about 6%. So that's the way the breakdown is. But we're going to use Blogger because it's owned by Google. And because I have created this class with a big emphasis on connected learning, Google gives us some tools to use. And we're going to use Google Drive. We're going to get into Picasa and Flickr and things like that. And so I thought Blogger would, would suit our purposes best um, because it's ubiquity. It's connected to Picasa. It's connected to Gmail, Google Drive, YouTube. You can connect your phone to it. Um, you can connect your Google Plus account to it. So it's a very um, powerful and ubiquitous program. So we're going to use Blogger. And when we get to class, we're going to have a workshop. We're going to start to go to Blogger. We're going to sign in or sign up depending on where you are in terms of your access to Gmail or, or, or Scott's account. We're going to create our blog. We're going to create a title for our blog and choose a template. And our first post is going to be all about you. That's right. All about you. I want you to embed a picture, embed a video, create some hyperlinks, um, and tell me everything I want to know about you as a teacher, as a learner, um, and, and, and I'm going to capture your philosophy too. So we'll, we'll look at the assignment sheet when we get the, in class on the workshop day, but that's where we're headed. So the next question might be, why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? That's a great question because if we don't have a rationale, we don't have a purpose, and we don't have an audience to, to put our blogs together with, then why do it? So, I'd like to create a personal learning network. What my plan is, is that you're going to create a blog for an audience 
of at least five of your classmates. And then we're going to expand that out as the semester goes. And that's going to create a personal learning network where you can go to their blogs and visit and pull information and ideas and make comments and share. And they're going to come to your blog and do the exact same thing. Leave comments and share ideas. And that's the beginning, a, a strong component of our personal learning network. We're going to actually collaborate. We're going to share information. We're going to inform each other. We might even entertain. I'd love to see some jokes and your sense of humor and your voice come out in your blog. So we're going to talk about that in class. We're going to connect to each other and we're going to belong to a community, a personal learning network. In SED 183, the main purpose is, is to begin that educational portfolio where we can store our artifacts and create a community of learners that's going to help you develop as a teacher, but also grow as a learner. So when we look at our blog, and we'll get more into this into the, into the workshop, but we're going to start with the title. We're going to have, build some pages in throughout the semester. We're going to create posts that are dynamic. And when I mean dynamic, they're going to include pictures, narrative, video, and even comments, because we're going to build in that audience for you, and it's going to be a community of learners sharing and connecting. On the side, we're going to develop our blog roles. We'll see who you're following. And then we're going to create an archive. Every time you post, it's going to jump into that archive so you can always go back to it. So if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or even going out to be a teacher in the future, you can always come back to your blog and see what you blogged about. I'm excited. This is what you're going to create. We're going to do the workshop in class after you watch this video. And I'm excited about how you're going to grow not only as a learner, but as a future teacher in the classroom. This is Mark Smith from Edinburgh University.